Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 27 of my tutorial on how to make Android apps. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create swiping tabs with Android using the new material design way of swiping tabs. And I'm also going to cover Pager Adapter as well as View Pager. I should have, in the last tutorial, pointed out that I just wanted to cover the way to use tabs using the old action bar, but that I did plan on using the new toolbar. And in this tutorial, I'll do that. Why don't we go over and look at the finished product? Okay, and here is the finished application, and as you can see, we can swipe, and it has that really smooth animation that everybody likes, and we're also going to click on the tabs and also bounce around and display different fragments. So, let's go write the code. Okay, so you guys already saw the finished product, and now we are going to create it. The very first thing we're going to have to do, however, is you're going to have to come over here, and you're going to have to create a new package, right like this. And I am going to call it STAB for sliding tab layout, but I already created it for us. And what we're going to need to do is go and get these two files. So let's jump over to Google Chrome and get them. All right, so you're going to have to go to this address right here. I'll put a link to it in the description underneath. And you're specifically going to have to come down here and get both of these files, sliding tab layout.java and sliding tab strip. Just click on them. They're going to open up and you're going to select the whole entire file and you're going to copy and paste it over into Android Studio in the package that I just created, STAB. Another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is I'm going to start transitioning over into Android games as well as large Android applications. And you guys seem to be very interested in material design. So Slide Nerd, also on YouTube, uh, this isn't a sponsored hype or anything like this. This is just me saying, hey, you guys are interested in material design. And this guy already has a whole bunch of tutorials on material design because like I said I'm going to transition into making apps again which is what I like to do. So if you want to learn more about material design and nice little tiny videos which are really nice go check out Slide Nerd. Okay so here we are we copied and pasted both of these libraries inside of here and we are going to be using them. Very first thing we're going to do however is create all of the fragments we're going to be using. So we're just going to come over here click new and Java class just like we have done previously and this guy's going to be called tab fragment one and click on OK and there it is and let's get rid of all this junk and this guy is going to extend fragment and I'm also going to be use the support library here come down here and right click and we're going to say that we want to generate override methods and then on create view just like we've done previously and there that is once again delete this come in here create a view and of course all of this code is available in the description create an inflator to inflate our fragment on the screen R dot layout which I'm going to create here in one second it's going to be called tab underscore fragment one pass in the container to inflate into and false and after we do that we'll return our view and there we go quite simple now we're going to go over here to the layout folder and create that guy come down here XML layout XML file and of course this is going to be called tab fragment one just let that set as a linear layout click on finish come down here and we can throw a text view in here if we'd like text view width wrap content height wrap content we'll give it some text and I'm just gonna put tab fragment one inside of here text size let's make this 16 SP and then padding 5 DP just so it shows up there on the screen real nice and then of course we're going to create these layouts for all of the other different fragments. Come over here, write new XML layout file, tab fragment 2, linear layout's fine, click on finish, select all, paste that in there, change this to fragment 2, that's all we need to do. Come over here, create another layout, tab fragment 3, click all, copy paste, change this to 3. And there we go. Now we got all those layouts all set up. Now we come in here, copy all this, come over here, create another class new. And then another reason I'm doing this again and again is just because there might be somebody that comes to this tutorial that didn't see the previous tutorial. Tab fragment 2, select all, paste, change this to 2, change this to 2. Everything else is fine. Close that and close this as well. And then create our last fragment. Java class, tab fragment 3, there it is. Select all, paste, change this to 3, change this to 3. All right, everything's all saved and we can get rid of all that. Now we're going to create another class and what we're going to be using here are view pagers as well as pager adapters. The view pager is just going to allow us to switch or swipe back and forth between our fragments and the pager adapter is going to do things like define what the title is going to be on the tabs as well as provide the proper fragment whenever either a tab is clicked on or a swipe event occurs. So Java class, 
and I'm going to call this my fragment pager adapter. Click on OK. And there it is. This is going to extend the fragment pager adapter. It's going to say I need to come in here and generate some methods. No problem. Come over here. Click on this. Implement methods. Implement both of them. Another thing I want to do is come in and define my titles for all of my tabs. So let's just create a string array. Keep it simple. Tab titles is equal to new string. And then let's just name this frag number one, frag number two, and frag number three. Semicolon at the end. We're also going to need a context here. Just call this context. And then down inside of here, what we're going to do is return the correct fragment based off of the index that is passed to get item. So we're going to say if i is equal to zero, return new tab fragment one, else we're going to do the same thing here, is equal to one. We're going to change this to tab fragment two, and else we're going to pass in a two here, change this to three, and otherwise we're going to return null. And there we go. Get count, which is down here. I'm going to change that to three because we have three possible fragments. And also I'm going to want to create a constructor here. Let's write generate constructor. Click on the context and that is all set up. There is our pager adapter. Another thing we're going to need to do though is one of these guys here. There it is. Sliding tab layout. I believe this is the one that calls for the page title. So we're going to have to go get page title. There it is. It's going to ask for a page title. So we're going to have to come over here inside of our adapter and set that up for it and generate override methods. And then down inside of here, pager adapter, get page title, click on that. And then here we'll just replace this with tab titles and then the position that it passed in. So basically the pager is going to request the fragments and then at the same time we're also going to, whenever the fragments change, Inside of the pager, we're also going to update the title inside of all the tabs. And that's all we're going to need to do for the pager adapter. Another thing I want to do before I forget is the Gradle, this one right here specifically. I'm going to open this up, and we are going, to, this can be set to 15, doesn't have to be 21, unlike you might read somewhere. But you want to make sure that you have your proper support libraries inside of here. See, 21, you want to make sure that you have that inside of there. And once again, that's in the build Gradle file, this one right here. And of course, you can get the support libraries by opening up the SDK manager. Here's my SDK manager. Zoom in here a little bit. And then scroll way to the bottom, see support library 21.03. That's where that comes from. So you just put a check in there and say you want to get that. All right. All right, so back to activity main. We're going to have to go and get our sliding tab and put that inside of here. So we're going to go com dot new think tank. Let's just copy this paste that in there and then we want to specifically get to the sliding tab layout which is in the s tab folder so sliding tab layout there it is and then we're going to give this an id and i'm going to specifically call this sliding tabs and then we're going to have the width be match parent and then we're going to have the height be match parent we can close that off and then underneath of it we're going to have our pager it's going to allow us to swipe between our fragments so android dot support dot v4 dot view dot view pager is what we want. We're going to give this an ID, which is view pager. We're going to have a width inside of this, which is going to be match parent. For our height, we're going to come in and we're actually going to define this as zero pixels because we're going to have it fill up all of the screen by then going to the weight and putting one inside of there. And then we could also define a background color if we would like. And let's just say Android colon color forward slash white. And then close that off. And that's all you need to do for activity main. Now we're over inside of main activity. This is going to extend a fragment activity for us. We're then going to need to come down here and create our view pager, which once again is going to allow us to flip through all of our different pages or all our different fragments that we use. View pager is equal to view pager. Find view by ID, and that's going to be r.id.viewPager. Now we're going to need to set the adapter for our view pager, which is going to allow us to return a fragment based off of the index. So set adapter. Then inside of this, we'll go new, and we'll define our pager adapter. We'll then call for get support fragment manager, which is going to allow us to interact with our fragments, and then put in main activity this. Okay. Now we'll need to initialize the sliding tab layout. So sliding tab layout, let's just call this sliding tab layout, good enough. Sliding tab layout, cast, and then find view by ID and pass in r.id.sliding tabs. 
and that of course is going to come from this sliding tabs right there back over into main activity and all we need to do is connect the view pager and go sliding tab layout dot set view pager and that's it guys that's all you need to do to use the new material design tab slider or or tab swiper whatever you want to refer to it as Sorry about the confusion, I should have mentioned that I wanted to demonstrate the action bar before moving on to this, but either way, now you have both. So please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.